Uh, I wanted to show some uh, Dreamcast running in widescreen, true widescreen, on the JXD S7800. Uh, this is Sonic Adventure, of course. Uh, this is done by editing the config file. The mu.config widescreen equals one. Secret. Also, I have actually removed the touchscreen controls by replacing the uh, buttons button.png with a, uh, a transparent image. Uh, the same size. I basically just took the original image and and uh, removed everything. From the picture, I actually used Photoshop Touch for that. I'm trying to get this motherfucker. It only is this hard when you're trying to do it on a camera. There you go. Tails did it. Uh, but yeah, there are some, you know, a few little glitches with it. Um, not everything is in 4x3 and not every game is in 4x3. The game is not really made for widescreen I mean, sorry, not everything is in 16x9, not 4x3. But not every game is made for uh, widescreen. Well, most games on Dreamcast are not made or optimized for widescreen. Some are, but uh, most aren't. And, uh... Yeah, so this one is not really made for widescreen. And, uh... Because of that, they didn't really take any kind of uh, time to make it work properly in widescreen. So when you put it in widescreen, you're going to notice a few little things like, uh, what the fuck? Anyways, <laughs> you're going to be noticing some little things looking not quite right. Like, there's still going to be some letterboxing and stuff like that. You'll see some weird cut discoloring maybe on the sides. It's really only changing the camera to a 16x9 camera, basically. And, uh, instead of it being a 4x3 camera. So if there's no real, if it's just an image, it's going to be in 4x3 still. Or whatever. I get confused when I'm trying to play and, and talk at the same time. So if I say something incorrect, I'll probably hear it later on when I'm <laughs> listening to the video. But you'll probably hear it right away. Uh, yeah, whatever. This is uh, Dreamcast running on the S7800 in in uh, widescreen. I had trouble doing this on the Nexus 7, even though I changed it to widescreen. It didn't. It was still in 4x3. I don't know. Maybe it was just the game that I had. I, I it, I've only had one game that this didn't work with on the S7800. Uh, that game was uh, San Francisco San Francisco Rush. Um, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, anyways. So, uh, this also worked with Daytona USA, which worked fine. Uh, it worked with Mortal Kombat, uh, Gold. Uh, what else did it work with, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Uh, it's about every damn game I have, except for that one game. And really, that's all, all it did was put it in 4x3 mode. So, it didn't really do anything horrible. Um. Jump on one. I'm trying to think, what other games do I have that actually work? Boing. So yeah, Daytona USA kind of works. <laughs> Did I? Oh. Yeah, it kind of works because of the controller bug. But, uh... Unless you have an Ouya, then it works fine. Except for the, the bad frame rate and the, uh... Whatever, this is not about that. Okay. Just... <laughs> what the... F hey. Are you kidding me? Oh, I guess I can't use the, uh, okay. Mm, interesting. So now I'm gonna pop out of this, and I'm gonna go into a different game. 
if you're wondering where the config file is, it's actually in here in the data folder. There is a config file, it's called mu.config. And that's that. So let's go for another ROM. We'll find what? Ooh, Dead or Alive. This game kind of runs. I mean, it, the widescreen works fine. And it doesn't seem to do anything to the performance of the games. But um, this game runs okay at first. And then kind of it becomes unplayable because of the camera. Not because of the widescreen camera. It's just... In 4x3 or widescreen, it becomes unplayable in later levels. Because there are bugs. We have Kasumi Ninja! So, yeah. Okay. Boom. Ow. I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> so you can tell. But yeah, that's that's that game in uh, 4x3. I'm just going to get out of it and show you some other games. That game you can only play for a certain amount of time until it uh, decides to kick out on you. Or not kick out on you, but just become really unplayable. Um, let's go with Daytona USA, even though it's really rough to play. Um, yeah, Daytona USA. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there. Dirt. <laughs> Come on. Daytona. This is actually a modified version of the of the uh, Dreamcast version. It has all the arcade sounds and stuff, so it doesn't have much of the remaster stuff, I don't think. It just has yeah, replaced audio. So instead of hearing ladies and gentlemen start your engines, you'll hear gentlemen start your engines. So it's the sexist version. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna go. You know, I'll I'll just keep it as is, so you can see it. This is probably the least buggy um, track. I found that if you actually get your car up to 50 miles per hour then the automatic stuff kicks in and you start being able to play but you will still go a little slow uh, with this it puts you up over 180 miles per hour so there's no problems there's not too many problems um, uh, actually moving your car but uh, if you go under 50 miles per hour then you won't be able to, then you'll have to get yourself up over, or up to 50 miles per hour to get yourself uh, actually moving somewhat. It's hard to explain, that's why I'm totally confused, I'm probably confusing the fuck out of you. So, yeah. And this is using touch mapping because... The, detect the detection does not work well. It's just that you don't see the, the controls because I replaced the PNG file. Great, your time has been extended. So, yeah. Now, this isn't as glitchy on the Nexus 7 with the, uh, the sky being all weird and flickering and stuff. It seems to be very minimal on the new Nexus 7. So... I couldn't go fast enough, so I did what I could do. Hopefully, uh, an update fixes that. Uh, I heard something. The dev said he was going to put something in the next update. I forget what it was. I think it's just a fix for something. 
I don't remember. Uh, it was a fix for something, but that's basically it. That's Dreamcast uh, playing on the JXD SMD 800 in widescreen. So, thank you for watching.